Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh Hello everyone, this is Tika Shamsia Priyani I am from 11 Science 5 Today I am going to speak about Indonesian Heritage Day First of all, thank you for the time and opportunity that have been given to me today to talk about Indonesian Heritage Day even though on YouTube we all know that every November 10, Indonesian people commemorate Heritage Day. The moment of Heritage Day on November 10 is an important and historic event for the Indonesian people. On November 10, 1945, there was a battle in Surabaya which resulted many fighters being killed. The battle was the first war between Indonesian troops and foreign troops after the proclamation of Indonesia and one of the biggest and heaviest battles in the history of the Indonesian National Revolution which became a national symbol of Indonesia's resistance to colonialism. A great battle ensued. All people fight together. There are no difference in class, level, religion, and understanding. When an Indonesia is threatened, an Indonesian people will defend it. This is the essence of the historical event, where all the people become one and forget everything, except for the Republic of Indonesia. Individual does not apply on that day. Government, army, people merge into one. To all Indonesian people who sacrificed at that time, the title of hero deserved to be pinned. Because of that, November 10 is celebrated as Heroes Day. Nowadays, every November 10, each house in Indonesia displays the red and white flag of mass. All people pray for the spirits of the national heroes and meditate for 60 seconds all at once at a quarter past eight local time. We, as young people, must continue the idols of the heroes to advance the nation of Indonesia. Everyone, this is the end of my speech about the Indonesian Heritage Day. Hopefully, my speech can be useful for all of us. I apologize if there is any mistakes. Thank you for attention. Wassalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh.